Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. Today we have Erica. Erica hasn't been on yet because she's been filming all of them on her iPhone, which has been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, but now we have Noah, and Noah has joined our team, and he is filming and doing a lot of video work for and us. And doing a much better job than me. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> And you're still going to do it a little bit, of course, right? <laughs> oh, definitely. When needed. Amanda would be here, but she is swamped in work. Very busy. So today we're going to talk a little bit about 2021 and refreshing your space after you take down all of your holiday decor. And just some quick tips you guys can take away and make your space a little bit brighter this post-holiday season. <laughs> yes, yes. Still gloomy from 2020, but we're getting through. And I think it's really important that if you want to keep your Christmas decorations up or your holiday decorations up this year, just leave them up. In my opinion, yes. Amanda and I have been going back and forth, like who's doing it first. <laughs> and I think she said she's leaving some of it up right now. You're still anyway, up, really? My, well, some of them, Christmas That's wreaths and stuff. Interesting. Yeah, because I can't let it go. Yeah. But anyway, so to refresh your space for the beginning of the year, um, we have a few tips. One of them is to take a color risk. So a lot of people feel nervous about color. Right. And right. you've heard it on past episodes. Color is awesome. Have fun with color. Doesn't need to be like a wall. It could be True. like throw blankets, throw pillows, a piece of furniture, an area rug, whatever it might be, change up a space just by adding some color. Right, it's an easy way to kind of bring in some freshness. Absolutely, so those colors you've been afraid of, maybe the yellows or even oranges or greens, have fun Go with it. it yeah. yeah, bring it in, bring it into a space and just see how you feel, get through the first half of the year and maybe you'll change it up in the summer, who knows. But bring in some color, bring in some vibrance, we all need it right now. So the second tip that we have for you guys is to keep your fireplace decorated in your mantle. And I know this sounds a little bit counter to what we usually talk about, but like we said, we're keeping it going this year. Um, you don't have to keep your Christmas decorations up, but we are still using our fireplaces since it's pretty chilly out. And so why not leave all the, what is it, brush and kind of nice little... Yeah, just mantle decor and, you know, maybe you have something on your mantle that yeah. was there for the holidays. Uh, keep, you know, take that down but put something up like a mirror or something yeah. like that. Or bring in a couple of vases on the side yeah. or something else. If you have a piece of art, you can switch it out for a mirror to make your space feel bigger. That's always the number one tip that these guys give. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so no, you always want to make sure that even though you have the holiday season over with yeah. and it, 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 you just keep your fireplace still decorated. It's really important. It's still a focal point of the room, so it's let it be that. It's an inviting place. So I know, it always falls flat. Yeah. I don't know why. Yep. Um, the other one that we have for you is to designate a certain space in your kitchen for a coffee yeah. or a tea bar and have fun with that. Like create an escape. Everyone's spending so much time at home That's now. So, true. so create that coffee space that you've always dreamed of. Get yeah. yourself some matching mugs or some some mismatched mugs, which is something I love. I love, love the mismatched mugs. Right? <laughs> Put your Keurig or your coffee maker there. Give yourself some, um, I don't know, some syrups or whatever it is right. that you like to put in your coffee and, and make it a little space. And know? if you like really want to have fun with it, you can find a new piece of furniture too to kind yes. of build that set, set up on top of. Like Josh loves to go antiquing. Yes. He'll be the first to tell you. And so um, a really cool piece to use would be like an awesome antique piece. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you find that wall in your kitchen or your dining room that's kind of empty or you want to do something with it, make it a coffee bar. Have some fun with it. Yeah, it's a great way to stay home and still enjoy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fourth tip that we have for you guys is to replace or refresh your bedding. So a lot of people this time of year don't really think, oh, I need to go out and buy something new because mm -hmm. it's kind of cold and chilly, but a great way to refresh your space is to get some color or a different pattern in on that bedding. And it's pretty easy to do. Just fold up the old stuff, stick it away in the yep. cabinet. and Yeah, and this is where you can bring in that color too. Make a color yeah. risk, um, take a color risk, I should say, <laughs> um, and get yourself some new bedding and that can really change the space. So yeah. definitely change it up, I'm sure. You know, if you've had the same bedding for about a year or two, right. have some fun, change it up. Your room, your kid's room, yeah. your guest room. It's yeah. a great time to just kind of... Oh yeah. And last, <laughs> declutter. Declutter Absolutely. your space. I know it's, it's easier said than done in most cases, but take one Saturday a month or Sunday yeah. a month, wake up, pour yourself some coffee from your nice coffee bar, <laughs> and just really dive into some of those closets. And I promise you, at the end of the day, you're gonna feel so much better. Organize it with some bins, especially this time of year, like January, February, yep. there are always great deals on bins and, you know, I don't know, crates yeah. and weird stuff. So you can just fill those things, put them in closets, and just really purge. I feel like too, everybody has that wrapping paper that's been hanging around since oh, yeah. Christmas time yeah. or a couple of Amazon boxes in the corner. Like, just get rid of that stuff. Yeah. We promise you'll feel better. Yeah. And anything that you've had, 
for like two years that you haven't used this Great. year, yeah. you don't need it. If you didn't Have use it, it this year, get rid of it. Those are some of our tips to make 2021 awesome a great start let's do it <laughs> let's have a good start yeah all right guys still make it happen yeah um follow us like us share us yep. and we actually wrote this one out in a blog so check out our blog yep. on our website thanks guys i always pick up the coffee with this side of my hand even though there's like a hand over you here. yeah that's great. every time